China is about to make history with its Tianwen-3 mission, set to launch in 2028. This ambitious project aims to land on Mars, collect samples, and bring them back to Earth something no nation has achieved yet. Imagine the potential discoveries pristine Martian soil and rock, analyzed right here on our planet. In this video, we'll explore the bold goals of Tianwen-3, the groundbreaking technology behind it, and why this mission could redefine our understanding of the Red Planet. Stick around to uncover the details and see why this mission is generating so much buzz in the space community. China's Tianwen-3 mission is a groundbreaking venture that signifies a major advancement in space exploration. Set to launch in 2028, this mission aims to achieve something unprecedented bringing Martian samples back to Earth. This ambitious project will unfold through two crucial launches, each serving a specific role in the mission's success. The first launch will deploy a Long March 5th rocket to carry the lander and ascent vehicle to Mars. This component will be responsible for making a precise landing on the Martian surface, collecting samples, and then launching the collected samples back into orbit. The second Long March 5th rocket will carry the orbiter and return module, which will be responsible for collecting the samples from Mars orbit and transporting them back to Earth. The mission's complexity is underscored by the sophisticated technology required to execute it. The lander will need to navigate Mars' thin atmosphere and challenging surface conditions to achieve a successful landing. Once on the surface, it will use advanced tools, including a robotic arm and potentially a subsurface drill, to gather Martian soil and rock samples. These samples will be securely stored and prepared for launch back into space. China's Tianwen-3 mission builds on the successes of previous missions, such as Tianwen-1, which successfully deployed the Zhurong rover on Mars in 2021. The rover provided valuable data about Martian geology and climate, laying the groundwork for more advanced missions like Tianwen-3. Additionally, this mission aims to explore potential signs of past life, making it not just a technical feat but a significant scientific endeavor. Successfully completing this mission will not only mark China as a leader in Mars exploration, but will also significantly contribute to our understanding of the Red Planet. By bringing samples back to Earth, scientists will have the opportunity to conduct detailed analyses that are impossible with remote sensing alone. The insights gained from these samples could revolutionize our knowledge of Mars' history and its potential to harbor life. The Tianwen-3 mission faces several formidable technical challenges that must be overcome to achieve its ambitious goals. One of the primary hurdles is the complex process of landing on Mars, collecting samples, and returning those samples to Earth. Each phase of this mission requires cutting-edge technology and precision engineering. The lander, which will be deployed on the first Long March 5th rocket, must execute a precise landing on Mars. This involves overcoming the challenges of Mars' thin atmosphere and uneven terrain. The landing system will be equipped with advanced sensors, such as altimeters and accelerometers, and landing technology like retro rockets and airbags to ensure it can safely touch down and remain stable on the Martian surface. Additionally, the lander will need to manage extreme temperatures and dust storms, which can impact its operations and longevity. Once on Mars, the lander will need to collect samples from various locations. This task will be carried out by a sophisticated robotic arm and potentially a subsurface drill designed to retrieve samples from beneath the surface where they might be better preserved. The robotic arm will use a variety of tools, including scoops and drills, to extract Martian soil and rock. The collected samples, which could include soil, rock, and possibly even subsurface materials, will need to be carefully stored in sealed containers to avoid contamination and preserve their integrity for analysis. The challenge here is to ensure that these samples remain uncontaminated by Earth's environment, a crucial factor for accurate scientific analysis. Another significant challenge is the ascent and retrieval of these samples. After collecting the samples, the lander must launch them into orbit, where they will be transferred to the return module. This involves launching from Mars' surface, navigating the Martian atmosphere, and rendezvousing with the orbiter. The ascent vehicle must perform a precise launch, avoid atmospheric drag, and reach the correct orbital path to successfully transfer the samples. The return module will then carry the samples back to Earth, 
where they will enter Earth's atmosphere and land safely. The re-entry process must ensure that the samples are protected from the intense heat and pressure experienced during atmospheric entry. Each of these steps presents unique technical challenges, and the success of the mission will depend on the precision and reliability of the technology involved. Overcoming these hurdles will require meticulous planning, innovative solutions, and rigorous testing, making Tianwen-3 one of the most ambitious and high-stakes space missions ever undertaken. International collaboration is a key element of the Tianwen-3 mission, reflecting China's commitment to global scientific advancement. This mission is not just a national endeavor, but a collaborative effort that involves deploying international payloads and sharing Martian samples with scientists worldwide. This global approach underscores China's dedication to advancing science through international partnerships. China's approach to international cooperation is consistent with its handling of previous space missions, for instance, samples returned from the Chang'e 5 and Chang'e 6 lunar missions have been made available to researchers internationally, fostering global collaboration and enhancing scientific research. Similarly, the Tianwen-3 mission will offer international scientists the opportunity to study the Martian samples, contributing to a broader and more comprehensive understanding of the Red Planet. This openness enhances the mission's value by integrating diverse scientific perspectives and expertise, which can lead to groundbreaking discoveries and innovations. In contrast, NASA's Mars Sample Return Mission has faced significant challenges, including delays and budgetary issues. These difficulties have led NASA to reassess its mission plans, aiming to develop a more cost-effective and achievable strategy. The Perseverance rover, currently collecting samples on Mars, plays a central role in NASA's revised approach, but its progress is hampered by the complexities of managing a large-scale space project. NASA's current focus is on refining its plans to address these issues and deliver a successful mission within a realistic time frame. China's willingness to collaborate internationally and its progress in Mars exploration place it in a competitive position on the global stage. By sharing data and samples, China is not only advancing scientific knowledge, but also promoting global scientific cooperation. This collaborative approach benefits researchers worldwide, fosters international partnerships, and contributes to the collective effort to explore and understand our solar system. The international aspect of Tianwen-3 highlights the growing importance of global cooperation in space exploration. It demonstrates how countries can work together to achieve common scientific goals, paving the way for future missions and research endeavors. This collaborative spirit is crucial for addressing the complex challenges of space exploration and ensuring that the benefits of scientific discoveries are shared across the globe. In this video, we have learned about China's pioneering Tianwen-3 mission and its goal to return Martian samples to Earth, a historic achievement in space exploration. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.